Go to this link to download a custom theme and the custom icon pack. Also you can read info for this custom team and the custom icon pack. Also check out my description so you can read more information on what you need and how to apply a custom team on Windows. Here is the download link for 7TSP app and now you can download the custom team and the custom extras for this team. When you download everything what you need, I will put every file on my desktop. For 70SP app, you need to have Net Framework 3.5 and also you need to turn off your antivirus. Run the 70SP app as administrator, click on info and click on run anyway. Simply go to the add a custom pack and then choose your custom icon pack. Now go to the options and check this box where it says to create a new restore point. Here click on start patching and click yes. I will speed up this process of patching. Before I click yes, I want to show you that I have a completely default Windows 10 icons. One really important info is that you need to have default icons before you start patching any new custom icon pack. Now I will click yes, I am back after restarting, here click ok. You should get completely new custom icon pack on the Windows 10. Now I'm gonna extract the files from the archive, these are extras for this custom theme. In here you need to apply HUD machine system metrics. Here you have some more apps and extras, but I will skip them anyway. And now I'm gonna extract the theme. I will copy this. I will go to the Windows, Resources. Go to the themes. I will paste it here. Then go to the personalize, go to the teams and then from here from the team menu select your custom team that you just pasted. Here in the sounds you have a completely custom sound pack from HUD team. And here's the team but we are not done yet. I will go to the start is back properties, appearance and from here I will select custom start menu and the taskbar that comes with this custom theme. Now if you want to change a custom start button, go to this green little plus, click on it, go to the theme folder, HUD machine white blue and here you have folder with start buttons. Choose this one and then select it from here 
and there you go you have a completely new star button okay I will move this folder for later I'm gonna need that here in the WinRAR I will open the WinRAR and I will go to the options, go to the teams and I will select HUD team for WinRAR. You can download this team in the description below also. I will delete these because I don't need them anymore. Now I will go to the system transparency options. Here I have a system transparency already running on my windows and here I will set the number of transparent effect and I will affect every window explorer and I'm gonna affect start menu. Even my start menu is already transparent, I will bring back more transparent effect to the start menu. And here we go, I have a completely transparent effect on my windows. Ok now let's go on another step with customization and that step is custom wallpaper. So check out the description to find the link for this custom wallpaper. I'm gonna use this wallpaper with this theme and here we can check out my channel for many of tutorials. Tutorials on how to use system transparency, how to make Windows 11 or Windows 10 transparent, how to patch Windows 10 or 11. So before you ask me how to do something, you can check out my channel for specific tutorial. Here's the wallpaper that I'm gonna apply and I believe that this wallpaper is much better than the wallpaper that is with the team. Now you can see we have more light to the transparent. Of course I'm gonna delete these because I don't need it. Ok now the next step is to change the icons located in the taskbar. I'm gonna use these icons, check out the description to download them. So when you download it you need to extract the files from the archive, you can do that with WinRAR or 7-zip. And now copy this folder to some location that it's not gonna be visible. So I have a specific folder here icons and I'm gonna paste it here so I'm gonna delete the folder from the desktop and I'm gonna just show you the icons that I'm gonna use I'm not gonna use all of them I'm gonna just use a specific for internet PC and notepad so here in the start menu I'm gonna type notepad right click properties here you have option to change icon, browse and now just browse for that folder that you paste somewhere in your PC and here I'm gonna choose this size of the icons. Of course you need to choose icon format. So for the notepad I'm gonna use this, click OK, apply, here continue. I'm gonna unpin this, I'm gonna search for notepad one more time and just right click into taskbar and there you go I have a completely new custom icon for my notepad I'm gonna do the same steps for the internet and my PC this is for Google Chrome one more time I'm, I'm gonna locate it to the folder and this icon is for internet click OK apply Ok now in the start menu I'm gonna type about just to show you quickly what version of the windows I have. So here you can see my version is 20H2. Ok now for the explorer in start menu type explorer you can see I have a file explorer go to browse choose a desired icon click ok apply click ok one more time and if I type file explorer you can see that my file explorer icon is changed. Ok now let's bring up more transparency, now I'm just gonna do speed up preview of the custom icons, custom theme and everything that comes with the 
this customization. Okay, let's go to the last step of my customization and that customization is Rocket Dock icons and Rocket Dock skin. First, I'm gonna change the color text of my Rocket Dock. Now I'm gonna change the Rocket Dock skin and everything what I show you in this customization will be able to download from description below. I'm just gonna revert these icons to the hot blue because I'm using blue white theme. Okay, I need to uncheck auto hide and I'm gonna do this for every icon. I'm gonna speed up this part. So these icons will be also in description below to download them. I will include blank folder so you can edit and put your desired icon in the folder so you can have your own icon set for the rocket dog. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.